Hey guys. Austin, Texas. <laughs> Harmon Town is now officially in session. Thank you so much for coming out. Day two of the Harmon Town tour. Please put your hands together for the mayor of Harmon Town, Dan Harmon. Yourselves, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Damn it, we're never leaving this city. Uh, we had a great time in Phoenix. We learned some painful lessons, mostly about myself. There were good people in Phoenix. Uh, I, I made a, a complete ass of myself going out there. They, they, they loved me, uh, and, I, and, I, and I flung myself under the sharpened rocks of my own self hatred. And they, and they, you know, like on a regular show, like a comic would come out and go like, hey, uh, knock, knock, who's there? Uh, uh, your mom's there with that? And then there'd be a guy in the audience that'd go like, you suck. You know, that's, that's the dynamic. It's like, that's what a heckler is or whatever. Like, it's, it's completely inverted with me because I have no act. And then I come up and I go like, oh, I'm a bad person. And then people in the audience go, you're doing fine. <laughs> we love you. We love you. <laughs> you Season two of Community made me cry. <laughs> just, keep, just keep going. And, and, and I start going, fuck you, fuck you, pal. Yeah. What, what do you know? Yeah, Dan actually started heckling the audience's love. I, I did, I really did. And it was, uh, you know, the, the show in Phoenix went fine, but I learned my lesson. It was like, you know what? Let's, let's, let's accept some love as we go out here on the road. Because I, I, I was, you know, the, the, the automatic thought was like, well, we, we live in Los Angeles and we, we, we live in the back of a comic book store. We do the show. And uh, now we're going on the road. So your automatic thought is, uh, my mom's out there, you know? Like, she's somewhere out there. You get, these, these, are, these are different people. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna judge me. Or, or, like, the crowds are gonna be filled with people who are like, uh, you know, let's go see some comedy tonight, honey. Uh, who's this guy? What's he doing? But uh, I know, you, you all listen to the podcast, right? right? So we're fine, we're fine. And my, my only job is to pretend that we're in Los Angeles at Harmontown. Every I, I, place I, think is Harmontown. I think what we found last night, to our surprise, and I think what we're going to find as we go is that the people that come to the show are, are going to resemble our hometown crowd Pretty quite a bit. much. It's, uh, it's, 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 like, like they're all, they, they, they look a lot like... I, <laughs> I, 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 I walk in the door in Austin or Phoenix and the guy, the guy I make eye contact with who's holding the thing for me to sign is the same guy as in Los Angeles. Like, it, he, might be, he might look like he could kick my ass, he might have tattoos, he might have glasses, he might be short, he might be fat, he might be thin, but there's that misfit quality... And then I, our eyes meet across the room. It happened with some guy. I think his name was Jesse or something. It was the first guy I came into the. I came in the door. And there was a guy who was like, "Hey!" Kind of waved at me like I worked with him. And I was like, "Yeah, hey!" And I, <laughs> uh, and I, I knew I, I don't work with you, but it's like like the the different patterns of facial hair and the uh, just lo w lovely, wonderful, wonderful, an army, an army of nerds. I love it. Like. She, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, just showering me with love, and all I can do is fuck it up. All right, I'm tailspinning. I'm gonna fuck you, it up. You know, it's amazing, Dan. Uh, what, the the, t the first time I think that you met Charlie Kaufman, you guys know the writer Charlie Kaufman, uh, and uh, yeah, and Harmon. Uh, Charlie came to like a screening of it was a community thing, like a, it was the Christmas thing, I think. Uh, yeah. And Charlie came, and they met, and Dan obviously really wanted to meet Charlie, and I think Charlie was like happy to meet you. And they had this great conversation. They talked all day, but you never saw less eye contact in a conversation. <laughs> there was just two guys in the same plaid shirt staring at, at their own <laughs> shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a mannerism. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my people. That's my people. Like, we, 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 f we feel more than we can handle. Uh, we, we love each other. Oh, but speaking of feeling things and apologizing for things, I, 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 this was almost Kettle One, but then I remembered where we were, so this is Tito's. Tito's. <laughs> Fucking Tito's. One of the... 
Can I make you one? You want one? Yes, please. Thank you. One of the eighty-five thousand great things about Texas, uh, uh, they have a a, 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 a a grassroots homemade vodka called Tito's that is delicious. It's too delicious. Wait, my, my friend Ray Pruitt, who's here tonight, if I'm not mistaken, Ray, you know Tito, don't you? Haven't you met him? Is Ray here? You met him, yeah. <laughs> he co- he, uh, I met him. <laughs> <laughs> When Tito started making Tito's vodka, it was just him in a garage making this on his own, right? Well, that's the story I told you. This is a weird... It's, it, it's pitch black back there. I don't know. And I don't know what the mics are picking up, but... But as the story goes, Tito's vodka is made by a human being and not a corporation. And uh, now it's a corporation. <laughs> Uh, but it's every bit as delicious as Kettle One, who did not sponsor our tour. And I, I, I we, we, we nearly had a bottle of Kettle One up here, but fuck those guys. It's Tito's all the way. It feels a little weird drinking yeah. out of a soda yeah. glass, but... K- Kettle One is kind of the Nike of, uh, yeah. of vodkas. <laughs> Kettle One, the racist vodka. You fuckers. you fuckers had a chance. Yeah. We were going to put a big sticker on the side of our bus and make our bus like shaped like a Kettle One bottle. Yeah, we would have done anything. Until we found out about that racial stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. Kettle One. Uh, 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 sitting on Nazi gold since 1945. <laughs> and also making vodka. Yeah. I guess that's their new racket. But those in the know. Um, it, it, Kettle One. Baby rapers. <laughs> kettle one, more like kettle two. Meaning we pooped in it, you fuckers. Yeah. Kettle one, fuck yeah, fuck it. Uh, here's, a, here's another fantastic. Uh, the eight hundred reasons Ooh. to be glad we're in Texas. Uh, Texas. I, I, I hate to play favorites. I'm from California. I love California. But California and Texas are they're not so different. Uh, you know, it's like you get cows and oil, and we have like 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 weed, weed and 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 and, and movies. fake tits. Yeah. And, like, like, and I, I'm not going to be a fake ambassador. I'm going to come here. I'm going to I'm going to like like I'm proud of I'm very proud of being a Californian. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, it's it's uh, we, California and Texas though, like we could kick the whole nation's ass. Like like. like we, we are the first and second in terms of gross national product or whatever you call it on the state level, probably gross state product. Uh, it's California and then Texas. Like we're basically tied. Like like we we, we would we, each state could be a country unto itself. Uh, Texas's history, uh, you know that phrase Six Flags over Texas. You know you know the significance of that. I do not. I do. I Wikipedia it. <laughs> Who's the governor? Uh, Michael D- Dean Anderson. <laughs> really? Yeah. MacGyver? The, yes, the brother, brother of MacGyver. <laughs> just back me up, guys. I'll slip out the back and just pretend that your governor tonight is the MacGyver's brother. Uh, they, they're so good. They're such good people. Uh, <laughs> who is the governor? What's his name? Governor Bloomberg! Can't, can't hear you. Can't, uh, that governor B- Bloomberg? <laughs> Rick, Rick Perry. Oh, right, Rick Perry, the guy Rick. with the with the with the game show hair. Rick Perry. The idiot. The idiot. He sounds uh, sexy. I don't know. Sounds, I believe he's an idiot because he's a governor. I don't know how. It, I don't know what geniuses have ever become a politician. I don't, you, you don't wake up in bed and go, "Well, my brain's so active. I should tell people what to do." It doesn't make any sense. Like, if you if you're smart, you make shit, um, or, you, or 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 jerk off and play video games. You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ray. <laughs> the Ric Flair of jerking off and <laughs> playing video games is back in. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Six Flags Over Texas refers to the, the state's history. It's a, it's a it's an amazing history. They 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 they've been they, st- they they've been owned by it's a territory that's been owned by the French. The, for a brief period, the, the, the Spanish, then it was a, a territory of Mexico. Then, then, and I don't know what other state shares this. I really don't. There None. might be some. What? The only None. B- became their own fucking republic. <laughs> it's a, it's a sparse applause for that. Everyone else is like, I don't know. No, it's fucking cool. Come on. 
There's I, nothing uh, like that, that, I, don't, I don't think any any citizens of the state are more proud of being from a state than Texans. I think I think there's more state reason. pride here than that. Like, it's just a cool concept. Like I love the idea that we we belong to a nation that was like a, it's, it's a federalized empire. Uh, at one point, we had to go door to door and go, Are "You joining us? You joining us?" And Texas was like, "Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, a couple of conditions, you know. You get a 50-year lease with an option to buy, and, uh, uh, and we have to be shaped like a ninja star." That's fucking cool, too. It's the only state that if you threw it, it could take your eye out. <laughs> well, Florida would hit you. Even if it hit you right in the eye, it'd be like, it'd just bruise your eye. Texas would take your fucking eye right out. Uh, that's, that's a good point. And there's a handle on it. Yeah, you you could throw it. Yeah, you, you, you could you could, you grab could, it. That little could piece that should be Oklahoma, but it's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's like a sword handle. Yeah, you, you can cut a fucking like a weird cake with it and serve some shit on it. <laughs> and then you, you can just walk it. around, yeah. stab people with it. Yeah. Stab Mexico. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can be like Steve McQueen and the fucking Dirty Dozen and like kill a guy and fucking. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it it uh, so they were their own republic and then they made a limited agreement to become part of our, our little club uh, and then there was an uncomfortable period called the Civil War. And, uh, we can talk about that later if you want. I have not, I, I, I am, I am not judging anyone. Uh, and, and, and then, and then there's a, it should be seven flags though, shouldn't it? Because it's like, you got, what's that? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. You asked twice. You asked twice, so you, you, you but, but two different. Oh, that, that makes the six? Two different star patterns, but. But why not seven? Because of the amount of roller coasters. <laughs> Because of the amount of roller coasters. <laughs> In case the mics don't pick up. I, I find one difference between California and Texas. We have very different ideas about Mexican food. It's very, very, very different here. You get, you, you get a chili relleno here and there's like nacho sauce on it. It's, it's very strange. I like the place that we ate. Was, uh, was oh no, that place was fucked. Taco, but taco, taco Cabana, Ray Pruitt, you sent us a Taco Cabana. <laughs> saying that that's authentic cuisine. Notice I, I'm not a foodie. I'm are you booing me or are you booing Taco Cabana? No. You're booing Taco Cabana. Thank you. That, we walked in there. There were 17 people behind the counter and there were 17 tables all covered in shit. <laughs> and, I, and there was a gentleman behind the counter who was, well, he was 11 years old, I believe. And I walked up and I said, I'll have a burrito. And he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> A burrito? What? Oh, I'm, 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 I have a bean and cheese burrito. And, and, and so he gave me a bean burrito with the thing, with the little uh, ram, a plastic ramekin of cheese. I was like, presumably. Plastic ramekin? The little, the little plastic thing. The little, the little plastic cup. Is a ramekin? Is that a word? Yeah. A ramekin. What's a ramekin? It's like, it's usually like a little dish you put butter in or sauce or something. Or like a little, little four ounce. Yeah, you, 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 get, you get your ranch dressing and okay, you know, no, it's such a fucking ancient Greek name. It was like, <laughs> expect him to snatch me up with talons and take me to Mount Olympus. Yeah. Ramekin was the son of uh, Agamemnon, who was, uh, <laughs> who was cursed to, a, to, to dispense uh, three ounces he, of things. Yeah, he, he stole Chipotle from the gods and gave it to him, man, in, 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 in an easy-to-handle serving. Uh, I, my bean and cheese burrito, ladies and gentlemen, was a bean burrito uh, that was wrapped in foil that I had to take out of the foil, undo the tortilla, and then put cold cheese into it. There's no cheese in the fucking kitchen at Taco Cabana, and I had to make it myself. And then they give you a number, and I took my number to my table and was forgotten. They never, I had to go up and get my own food. I don't get it. The place blows. All right, fine. Well, you, have, you have their sympathy. They wanted to let you know. Yeah. Like, every, and I'm every... pretty sure that, I'm vegetarian, I'm pretty sure those refried beans weren't, and I'm going to be shitting like a goose on the bus. <laughs> For my money, I'm on this special diet. I've never, I, I, had, I had a delicious, like, it took some doing to make them understand how to put it in the bowl, but I got a, I got a bunch of beef and chicken in a bowl with some beans, and I'm about to... <laughs> I burp it out as I said. But it was good. It was on my diet, and it was good, and we got out of there. But we did stop off at our friend's advice to a, a bar called Buddy's Place, which yeah. I quite enjoyed. A that honky place tonk. Was yeah. Jeff, I want to be part of the honky-tonk culture. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, and I th yeah, I we was uh, anybody go to this place, buddies? What was it? What's our, yeah, it's those true. are our two friends. Yeah. The, the men's room is simply just a trough. There's no mirror. There's no sink. It's just a it's just a, a thing. It's, it's a manger. You can you can see you can, uh, 
you could feed an ox, or you could give birth to a Christ, or you could pee on it. And that's, that's, that's all there was in the bathroom. I love it. And the, 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 the uh, 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 bartender was like, like every, everything was like, but not in a condescending way. It was like, and not in a colloquial way. It was, it was, it was like, uh, I, all I can drink here is a Michelob Ultra because I'm doing a low-carb thing. I got just vodka. So, okay, I'll take Michelob Ultra. And she's like, okay, sweetie. All right, darling. Like, like everything was sweetie and darling in alternation. But it was really nice. Yeah. Like, 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 I'm not saying that she's representative of the population. I know every every town you go to, everyone wants to know, like, oh, we're 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 like Logan's Run here. We're all from the future. Uh, I'm from Milwaukee. Like, I like 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 I'm in, I'm 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 embarrassed to be you know like associated with a random thing you might encounter there. But 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 like it was a, I, 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 he, they had to, here's what here's what you don't have in Los Angeles: bars with big long ass shuffleboard. Those things with you where you. Fucking Shuffleboard is good. That shit. We had that. Yeah, the, uh, there, there are a couple in LA, but they're pretty. They're pretty a few and far yeah, between. Some, somebody followed us from LA just to call my shit out. <laughs> uh, there's one where? Houston. There's one what? In Houston. I thought you said in LA. No. No, oh. they're all over the place. I'm saying they're not in LA, really. By yeah, and there's one in Culver City, I think, but that's about it. They're all over the place. They were in. Uh, we, I, I found one in Portland, but like, like, like they were, my my dad, my uncle had one in his basement. So I, like, like, just that, that that gritty sand shit you put on it. It's a, it's a fun game, man. I, I, I everyone should have that. Not that you know, I don't want to. I don't want to get off. I don't want to do the uh, shuffleboard show. I don't. Care. I'm, not, I'm not like uh, a stockholder. It's, maybe it's time that you showed them you knew dance the shuffleboard shuffle. <laughs> We rehearsed this for weeks. So. <laughs> that was great, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah. I say give the people what they want, Dan. Yeah. Oh, your mama raps? Oh, that's going to be mama raps. But I didn't, you notice I didn't come out like like doing the mama thing because I was like I'm getting in a rut and I was like what I learned in Phoenix God bless them they were fucking wonderful all they did was support me but I came out rapping about fucking your mama and uh, and they're like yeah what what and it's like I didn't I, I I need to form a relationship with the audience everywhere I go it was it was getting in the way I, I talk about fucking your mama and the, and the biggest mistake I made Jeff getting suggestions about fucking people's mamas. Like, yeah. like acting like it was some kind of weird improv game. Like, what's your name? <laughs> that was the worst thing. My name's Steve. Uh, what's your favorite food? Uh, uh, ice cream sundaes? Ah, I fucked Steve's mama. And he, he was eating his favorite ice cream sundae and I was fucking his mama and she died of cancer? Did you say she died of cancer? Yeah, okay. I, it was terrible. I felt awful. It's, I'm not an improviser. I'm not like uh, one of your, your little who's line friends, you know, your little your who's he You know, it's a, yeah. yeah, there's a little Greg Proopsies in these Ryan Stileses. Like, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna do changing your emotions and lift the bodies and do the arms as experts. Like, I don't You used to be an improviser. Yeah, but I was terrible at it. And then I became a writer. And then now I ended up doing this because I, I, I can't, I can't I, therapy doesn't work. <laughs> So, is, is this therapy for you? Is this, is that, uh, this is absolutely therapy. Some guy, uh, Andy and, uh, and Tennille, all these two people who uh, live here, came back and interviewed Dan beforehand. And, uh, Andy really gave an awesome interview about Dan and asked Dan a question, why are you doing this tour? And there's no answer for that. You, you, you still don't know why. I still don't this. know why. I, I just know I, I need this and I love this. Uh, 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 I, I, I have lots of stuff to talk about. I just checked my notepad. But also the thing I decided backstage, based on the way things have been progressing, like, we, I want to bring Spencer up right away. Not to play D&D necessarily, but... For those of you who do not know, Spencer, we are the only comedy tour that's ever traveled with our own dungeon master to play Dungeons and Dragons. If you know him, you already love him. If you do not know him, prepare to. Spencer Crittenden. He's a national treasure. And yes, he looks exactly like you thought he would. Coming, Spencer. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't care. We're, we're, we're getting to know him. We didn't really know him. We, we, we found started. out last night on stage. We, 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 Dan and I realized last night in Phoenix that we really didn't know anything about Spencer. Uh, we knew where he lived and that he works in the back room of an Apple store. And uh, but now we learned that he has uh, on both feet. What's it called? Syndactyly. He has syndact. He suffers from syndactylism. Is that I don't suffer from it. 
Sorry, I'm sorry. Forgive me. He's blessed with a... Uh, he is given the rare gift of having two of his, uh, uh, of his middle toes on each feet fused together. Yeah. Yeah. Which I imagine he's... <laughs> less, less toe jam. Less stinky feet. Twenty percent. Would that help you maybe in like a in like if you were a swimmer possibly? Like, oh yeah, I can swim circles around anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, so we wanted to learn. We wanted to learn one new thing about you every night. If, if you have anything in the chamber, uh, uh, you can pop it out now, but or you can just let it stew. I'll, I'll let it. Okay, stew. great. I just wanted to know if they're sitting there because like it feels safer. Like like if I'm if I'm at McMahon, it's nice to have a Doc Severance and sit there. Uh, like, yeah, I like being able to go. What do you think about that, Spencer? Oh, that. <laughs> like, I'm invincible. Man. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. <laughs> Can we talk about the, because uh, we, we went to this wonderful honky tonk land, the shuffleboard thing, and like, 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 like I want to I, I wanna talk about the Confederate flag thing. Uh, uh, well, I mean, you don't have to act like I farted. Well, the, uh, this, one, this, one, this one had a, uh, there was a Confederate flag with a lady on it. What did it say? Uh, a rebel, rebel, rebel lady. Rebel or chick? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought. I mean, it's, it's offensive to slaves and to women. So it's, uh, <laughs> I just, I, 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 I don't know. I guess I remember one of these weird holdouts, like where I'm like, like I, th I think that's fine. Though, like, like, like it doesn't. It's not like a flag that has like a black person with a line through it. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Like I understand the association, but it's, but it's a very political thing. Like that, that would be a bad thing, and we would all go like, okay, we've moved beyond that. But we haven't moved beyond like 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 struggle and political like 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 upper, as a, like like Texas of all places. It's like it's the America of states. And it's like, like, it's like, it was it was the fuck. It was a colony, and it got like federalized. And it was like 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 I don't know. There's like when I see that flag, I go like uh, I don't I don't necessarily go oh that person like hates other people. I, like I, I kind of like. I, 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 we've all been trained to be ashamed of it, like it's a swastika or something. I just don't think it's the same thing. I just wanted to mention it. I don't know how you guys feel about it as like uh, 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 progressive uh, uh, Southerners. I never talked to somebody from the South that like like. Is, like, is this the South? You don't, you don't think of yourself as a South, really, do you? You're Texas. Right, I'm sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, but there's this compass. <laughs> I understand. I. I back you up a hundred percent. I don't. I don't mean to offend you. Uh, I, I. I just meant this, this, as, a, as opposed to the top half of the fucking country. Dan, did I ever tell the story on, on the podcast, or maybe if someone listens to it, did I ever tell the story about me being named Jeff Davis and me being in the South? Uh, I don't know if you did. Did, did I? Think so. No. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, my name is Jeff Davis, and uh, I, my parents were Yankees. They were from, you know, like Nebraska and Ohio when they were little kids, moved west during the Dust Bowl, and uh, never, never been to the South. My name's Jeffrey Davis. It's not Jefferson Davis. We're not Southerners. No, no one in my family's ever been to, like, lived in the South. But I was in uh, somewhere in Louisiana once, and I went to a liquor store in the morning. I was, I was walking from a girl's place to a, to my hotel, and it was a huge long walk. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, and it was a really long walk, but it was in a very black neighborhood, and I was the only white guy walking, like, and kid, like little girls and boys are going to school. White and, man and, walking. Yeah. But I looked like, I really looked like a, like a gay vampire. Like, I was just, like, super tall and skinny in a black suit, and, like, and super, like, pale and, and, and hungover, and I'm coming down the road, and little kids are crossing the street to go around me. And, like, I clearly was not up to any good there. And I go into a liquor store, and I, my cell phone was dead, and I wanted, uh, to make a, I call it a payphone or something like that, and I went into this liquor store, and there was this kind of like, like you know, rednecky guy, like you know, like Cajun dude behind the counter, and I said, "Do you have a phone?" He's like, well, "I got a payphone," and I said, uh, "Well, you, can you, can you break some money for the change?" He's like, "You got to buy something." So I go, "Okay, fine." So I got some trail mix and a Gatorade, and I'm like, "Oh fuck, I get a six pack of beer too." So I was, was for back at the hotel, so I get the beer, and he goes, like, "ID." And so I'm like, "God, Jesus Christ!" And so he gives me, so I get the change of the thing, I, I give him my ID and then the money. For the, for the Gatorade and the beer and the trail mix. And he looks at the ID and puts it back on the, on the counter and pushes the money, the ID, and all the, the goods back toward me. And, and he's like, thank you. I'm like, 
can I have it? And he's like, and I, said, I said, thank you. I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, I asked, can I have it? I don't know what's, what's going on. He goes, he goes, good day. I'm like, do I get to, well, what's, I, I, and, and he goes, he goes, he goes, it's yours. You go, take it. I'm like, here's the money. He's like, I don't want the money. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and he goes, I can't charge you Jeff Davis. And I went, oh yeah, okay, well, I'm, I'm not even from the South, man. I'm, Je I'm Jeffrey Davis, my parents are like, even, he goes, even so. I go, my parents didn't live in, <laughs> even my, so. my this parents didn't live in the South, he goes, even so. I went, oh, 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 racist. And he goes, even so. <laughs> For real, for no fucking joke. But he leaned in and got low and fucking had a microphone, and, even so. So I was like, okay, and I took the stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm happy to profit off of your racism. And I, I took the shit and I walk out and the cab, I called the cab and the cab comes and there's a cab driver and he's a Cajun fellow too. And, uh, and uh, I get in the cab and he turns the meter on and I'm like, man, that was weird. I was in this liquor store and I bought the beer and he saw my ID and it said Jeff Davis and the guy turns the meter off. <laughs> <laughs> so. You're, 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 you're like so like really low stakes Harry Potter. <laughs> it's like, it you to a magical land where you. So tomorrow we're driving to Louisiana. I'll tell you when I get out of the car. I'm like, well, if my name is Jeff Davis, <laughs> because shit's free. Uh, Everything's just Jeff Davis. Elementary school, Boulevard, Bank. It's just Jeff Davis everywhere. I just I, I always get conflicted about this like like like, like stuff like that. Like I. I hate me some government. Like, 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 like I, I, I can't think of anything I hate more than people telling me what to do. So if I, if I, th if I, th you know, if, if there's a flag that represents the idea that once upon a time people didn't tell people what to do quite as much, because so like, are you gonna erase it from history and you're gonna politicize it and overcharge it? Like, that's why I'm always like, like, like the, 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 it's not my right to like intrude upon that. But I feel like I, growing up in Wisconsin, I'm part of some weird like federal machine that like, 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 I have no idea how people feel, how they really feel, like what offends people. And I, I, I used to feel that way about uh, uh, guns too. Like, like, like that shit went crazy recently. Uh, but I, I always felt like, oh, I, you know, I, I couldn't be more liberal. I'm left of liberal. I'm so left of liberal that I seem right wing to my liberal friends because I'm so left that I just want to, you know, burn down the White House and like build a statue of myself pissing. Um, Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. It's too white. Let's get some torches, burn it down tonight. We're gonna march up the avenue, that's what it's for. Knock on that motherfucking president's door and say, whose house is this motherfucker? Yeah, who is? I don't know. That was the anarchist rap. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm sure uh, Mikhail Bakunin would have signed off on that one. <laughs> but I, I, I say, like, 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 the gun thing is like, like, I don't know, it's like, 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 it Did is. Did you just fuck the White House's front door? What was that about? I, 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 for those in podcast land, I, hum, I humped, I mimed humping the White House's front door. Sensually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know that that whole right to bear arms thing, like it it, it seduces me. It's, like, it's not, and this is the worst time of all to ever say that. That that fucking guy, like 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 the like you know the, the thing happened, and then the guy said the stuff, and like it's too politically charged. But I I, I I can't get past that concept of like, well, I don't know. There's weird shit about me that makes me go, yeah, but. I don't know who wants to be part of a machine. It's fucking dumb. Like, like, like. I thought. I thought the whole point of this country. I thought the thing that made us sexy was that we didn't want to be part of a machine. I thought the reason we called it the United States was because it was like, you know, I don't know. It's 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 too it's too politically charged though. It's like, like, like they, they, they they shove the shit down our throats where it's like. It's, it's the, the idea of dichotomy, the idea of a bipartisan system, the idea that you're either with one side or the other, that's the greatest trick the devil ever played. Like, like the idea that you're not allowed to be a single human being and go like, yeah, but I, wa I want this and I want that. Like, like, and then you just have people from both sides telling you, yeah, but whose side are you on? Like, because one of them is good, like Hitler. Uh, <laughs> And it's it's just it's just not true. But it's like like it's, it, 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 it it yeah I don't know. It makes me nervous, you know. Listen, you can hear the people eating their hot wings, like, 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 
Yeah, so, and it's, it's like, 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 I could say anything. I could just you know, lay yeah, a fuse I, and blow I, I, something I, I, up. I know you don't like uh, political conversations, but I have, a, I have a question for you. How do you feel about uh, Obama's mother? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... I fucked Obama's mama in the city. I fucked Obama's mama with both her titties. I went to Obama, said, can I fuck your mama? He said, my name's Obama. It rhymes with mama, so I, I rode a llama. I fucked a mama up in I don't, yeah, that's how I feel. It's like, you, you'd fuck her too. Yeah, I'd fuck her too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd hit that. No, are, 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 any mamas, are any mamas safe? No, no. no. Not from me, and I and I, and I and I'm blessed to live in a country where it's okay to say that. I, any, saying, anyone whose mama I want to fuck, I can say I want to fuck your mama. See, Pres- President what? Obama, are you listening? I would like to fuck your mama. <laughs> and he, I th- the reason I voted for him is because I think he would go. All right, well, I guess that's what he wants to do. <laughs> As opposed to somebody who would go like, what? What did you say? I'm gonna fucking arrest you and put you in Guantanamo. Oh, oh, Obama would say, I hope you fuck my mom. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Stimulate the package of the thing or whatever. Uh, I, hope you, I hope you change my mama's pussy. <laughs> We're supposed to be the government. We're supposed to be... Uh, would you, you wouldn't fuck Spencer's mama, would you? You met her the other day. She's a very lovely woman. I would, I, you know, I, I, I take a crack. <laughs> Yo, Spencer, I saw your mama yesterday. I might. It was two days ago. You see, you, you can't do it. Yeah, you I can't do it in the eye. Well, if a, that's, the, that's the important thing. Humanity. I, I, I think I'd fuck Obama's mama, but if he was here, I'd probably just shake his hand and say, thank you for running the country. <laughs> and I think he would thank me for doing a good show. And we, and, 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 so you say you just you're just cowing to his power to his uh, I don't know, to his no, status. I think that then he'd go away and he'd say to somebody, he'd go like, I'd, I'd fuck that dude's mama. <laughs> yeah, but you fu- you fuck members of our audience, all, mamas all the time. You're like, are you saying that they're lesser than Obama? That their mamas are, are more vulnerable? When I rap about fucking your mama, I'm using the royal y- your mama. I don't mean. I know that many of your mamas are dead or dying. Yeah, like you, you can hear the yeah. Gr- yeah. My, Dan, Dan, Dan. Yeah. My, my 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 mother died when I was thirteen. You want to you want to fuck her? <laughs> I don't I don't, don't want to get specific. I, I, it's like the art form of wanting to fuck your mama. Your mama's bigger than any individual. <laughs> what? I, I, yes, I'm saying yes. She's literally bigger than any individual. Yes. When your mama represents the collective, she represents the whole collective. I don't want to say. How fat she is. I don't want to say your mama is fat and important to me, but she's bigger than any individual. When your mama occupies my thoughts, she occupies my thoughts. <laughs> There are agrarian societies uh, that would that would consider her in charge of the cycles of the moon. Uh, she, she's, uh, and I would, I, and people would be honored to to nail her. Uh, I think it was nice that Eric Idle came on our, our goodbye show in Los Angeles and sang about fucking your mom. Did you guys hear that? That was amazing. We, we wrote we wrote a Monty Python member, Eric, our, our buddy. Uh, we wrote him a song. That was like he's he's never gonna sing it, and it was just about fucking dad's uh, Dan's dad and nuzzling his nuts. And was, we were, Dan and I were just in heaven. That was the greatest. We wrote a song for a Monty Python guy. Yeah. Like we wrote that song. I was like, well, fuck your mama and nuzzle his nuts, and then uh, a guy from Monty Python sang it, and it was a uh, yeah, humble brag. All right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let me let me let me check my notepad. I just want to see. There was a couple of Texas things uh, uh, while, while we're here that we can't talk about anywhere else. Uh, uh, can, do you think our angry bus driver is here in the audience? I don't know. Morgan, is our driver here? Nope. Nope. Okay, can we Fire talk away. about Fire our away. Angry, angry bus driver? This guy's complicated. He, we're on to our... He, he, he has a sense of humor. I just don't know what it is yet. It, it's, uh, I detect... Here's my... my, 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 my like, 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 
I, I feel like at one point he was driving like Gallagher or Louis Anderson <laughs> in a bus and then he was like, he's full of joy and life. And it was like, hey, you like smashing watermelons? Maybe uh, you should smash an orange. And Gallagher was like, keep driving, you fucking lackey piece of shit. And, and, he, and he, he looked forward and then the, like a, the x-ray of his heart went click. And then he became his current personality. Well, I don't know. He, he dr apparently the, uh, on that bus he's driven he's driven Slayer and Styx yeah, quite a bit, which yeah. I think is pretty cool. And I think he had, yeah. yeah, yeah, and he had very nice things to say about both both bands. Like I, I think he's a. Uh, he has this gruff like I, he just like he he said he does things like like we're all hanging out in the bus and then it's driving and then he 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 he, he appears from the, one of the bunks and then comes up to the front and there's goes up to so the... Yeah, for a while, we had, we had another driver because it was too long of a drive. So and then he, he goes like, hey, guys, a little bit of uh, uh, tour bus uh, etiquette 101. Uh, if, you're, if, you're gonna, if you're hanging out and someone's sleeping in the back, close the door between the th things. Uh, so, uh, close the door. And the, <laughs> the, <laughs> well, the director of, of, the, the, of the movie said, hey, a little bit of humanity 101. If you hate your job, stop doing it. <laughs> See, I feel weird talking about this because uh, we're going to be, this guy's going to be behind the wheel for an entire tour around the country, including <laughs> the Northeast during January. Yeah, right and there. he's gonna, if, he, if he decides, he's going to go, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to go Christopher Walken from Annie Hall on this. And it's like, <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I, well, what do you want me to I, do? It, but I have to say, uh, that, that aside, he, he, uh, he keeps it between the lines and he hasn't scared me yet. There's, there's some scary drivers out there. So I, I've gone to sleep in that bunk and I've never felt like the, the telltale signs of a, of a bad driver. Yeah, well, all right. Well, a, a new update in the next city. We're, we're forming relationships that we never knew. He looks exactly like Jeff Daniels. And he's, he's, he's objectively ashamed of it. Uh, like, like, There's nothing like, to be ashamed of. I know, that's what I told him. I, 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 I was like, I saw some Jeff Daniels hater over there. Or maybe a guy who looks just like Jeff Daniels, and he's like, uh, with a with a pinch of Coulier, he looks the like little, the little the little Full House Dave Coulier. In there, so. I'm only putting this on record. No, Dan, we're just fucking. Like, come on, Jason, get up here. No, I'm kidding. He's not here. <laughs> oh God damn it, uh, Jeff. Why don't you like the song Hey Ya by Outkast? <laughs> when everyone else in the world loves it. Ambushed. Ambushed. I don't like it. It's a bad song. No, you know, it's not a bad song. It's a toe no, 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 no. There's, there's a very good reason why I hate it. I, I don't like popular things to begin with. I, I kind of have a, a very uncharming, unnecessary uh, aversion to popular things. Like, I would... Say what? How is it a bad song? I, I'm not saying it's a bad song. I think, I think it does exactly what it ought to do. It's a pop song. It's a popular song. It should be. But we used to go to this one little bar restaurant in my neighborhood in Los Feliz. Shut the fuck up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm a little on edge. Hey, ya! Uh, hey, ya! Uh, I guess it got it. Oh, I think it pooped it. I pooped my trousers. No, oh, I think I pooped it. I pooped. Is that, okay, you don't know. It's a fuck. It's not a good song. It's a shitty song. Here's my problem with that song. You couldn't go anywhere for 17 months without hearing that thing 15 times a day. You just, I, I don't like over... Also, like... I would never walk on a plane and be carrying the Da Vinci Code. I would, I would blow my brains out. I, wouldn't, I, I don't want to have a book and see 15 other people reading the same book. Does that make me cool? No. I just don't want to, I'm never going to read the Celestine Prophecy or any of that shit. I, I'm sure they're great books, but I just don't want to, like, I, I, it's not a sexy thing. I'm not boasting. I, I, mean, I, I shouldn't be like this. All right. Uh, I just wanted to jump. I, but, but, yeah, I made a list of stuff to talk about. I, I think it was overplayed for me. I, did, I didn't need that much of it. Like, I think it's a real toe tapper. No, you don't. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just sucking ass. No, right I'm now. not sucking ass. Did I ask them first if they like Outcast? No, you, you go to them. You, 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 you mas no, you no. Massage did, them. did we drive past a sign that said Austin Gateway to Outcast Lovers? <laughs> I didn't know that they. I don't know how they feel. I know how I know how the world feels because it's a fucking number one song forever. Like everyone yeah. loves it, and and a, like a lot of their stuff, and they're always having a great time. You, you know, always I, hear them having a great time in their music. I fucking love Outkast. I will I will take I will take the Outkast Hey Ya song any day of the week over anything that Gwen Stefani or No Doubt sings. So that, that, that's it. Too particular. This guy's too particular. Anyways, moving on. Next topic. Why am I under fire? <laughs> 
No, no, no. I, 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 I wrote down a list because I was a little nervous. I wanted to be able to talk to them about stuff. And that, that was like, a, it was like, hey, uh, I was like, uh, uh, I wanted to confront you about hey, uh, in yeah. front of people. Here's yeah, a, there's, I, 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 there's, there's certain popular bands that people love that I hate, and it's, um, I, I am convinced that if you give me five minutes, I can turn the most diehard Rush fan and convince them that they, they, they actually don't like Rush. Yeah. All right, who's the biggest Rush fan? No, in the no, 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 no. What? You don't want the biggest Rush fan in the audience to come up here? Is there uh, anybody? No, no because no, no, now it's been front loaded and they're going to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, nobody. See how respectful they are? Also, you, you know what? You know what? I don't like Led Zeppelin. See? No, I hear more applause than booze. No. I think, I, think it's a, I think it's a great band. I love the band, but Robert Plant is a screechy ass. And when you see film, when you see film of him playing, and he's swinging his like microphone around, and he's st stuffing his pants with a sock, and he's, uh, or maybe he's just got a giant cock. If you have a giant cock and you're wearing those pants, then stop being so insecure and going yay, and uh, and and looking over at Jimmy Page, he's doing nothing but standing there playing guitar and minding his business. And every time you see Robert Plant look over him, you can tell he hates him. He's jealous of the fact that he can do that. All right. So and you you you're because uh, I was confused by your reaction. You are you're hardcore Zeppelin to the point where you can be anti Robert Plant, right? Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, the band is great. It's, 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 it's the best band with the worst singer, I think. Not the worst singer. They, they, yeah, like this. All right, well, this is great. Austin, bringing people together. Right. He was the hardest booer, but then... Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour this guy at Tito's. Can we get a glass up front for this guy? <laughs> all right. Moving on. Next item on my yeah, docket. You thought, you, thought, you, you thought I was going to die. I made friends. No, 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 no. Fucking no. this guy and our lifelong buddies now. I wasn't setting you up to be to suffer anything. Uh -huh. I, I wanted to, I, I wanted to keep, have a relationship with these guys. I'm the I, Teflon I, 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 control. Moving, moving forward in, in doing that, Jeff and I have been friends for probably I will just round up 15 years. Today, this morning, because we've never been oh, on, we've yeah, never we, been on we, tour ever. We, we, we had a, a special mi milestone in, moment in, today. Uh, it was, it's never come up. Why would it ever happen? In an IHOP bathroom, Jeff and I took our first shit together. <laughs> Not together. Ne we, next we, to we, each other. Different toilets. I've known him forever. <laughs> I was like, I came in the bathroom, I know he's in there. Like, I'm not going to ignore it. And I sit on the we said, you, you came in and sang a little song, like, pooping in a bathroom. Yeah, yeah. It's going to make your dreams come true. Yeah, something like that. I, 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 I took it, it's probably hard to see, but uh, these are Dan's feet under the toilet. And <laughs> yeah, it's probably hard to see for some of you. <laughs> Can you see that at all? I, look, I, I gotta, I, here's the thing. I know you hate being told your shoes untied, bro. I'm not saying that, but you, you, your, your jeans hang down low, and, the, and when your jeans are long, you wear them long enough, the, the little seam, the bead at the end kind of rips off. It's a, mostly that's just a piss mop that you've got. Why? It's just it's just hanging out in the, in the right in the kill zone underneath the toilet at an IHOP. I guess I just love Texas. I trust I trust their germs to be as big as everything else and not be able to get into my bloodstream. What was it called? Fort what? Stockton? Fort Stockton, I believe. We were. Fort Stockton, IHOP. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Sp I, Spencer. I, I, Spencer. Keep yes. It, keep it down. Sorry, guys. I, I heard. I, but I'm saying I I heard his little flip flops. That's all I wanted to say. I take adorable shits. <laughs> they're like little. They're you like unicorn tears. <laughs> it's amazing. Like we're on the road. We're like it's our only our second show in, and like like shit's going down. <laughs> all right. Really, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 all right. So uh, well, well how, how, I've, I've lost track of time because we uh, we love these people so much. That's eleven twenty three. What does that mean? When, when did we go on? We went about like ten forty. Right. What? Ten forty. So yeah. All right. Well, well, I don't know. I feel like uh, we, we we need we need that audience participation level of our show. Like, like I don't want to force it. I don't want to say, who's allergic to vanilla? I am. Oh, let's do a rap about that. <laughs> I learned my lesson. <laughs> but I, I, I just want to feel, you know, like, like, like... Last night we came up with, well, there's a little kind of anthem that we, you know, like we're trying to like write lyrics to. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, and, uh, yeah. and it was, we brought a woman up on stage and we like, she was like the Dido to Dan's Eminem, and she did like the like the sing along hook to it. 
Is there any any any? I I would limit it to young ladies unless they they don't step forward. Is that is that sexist or, to limit yeah, it to the ladies? Could, could be a guy, could be a girl. I guess. I mean, it's a, it's a very masculine stage right now. And now let's, let's if there is a woman that has a. Is it, is, does anybody feel like they can carry enough of a tune to uh, to do the do the, like the Rihanna hook? Okay, here? that hand went up pretty emphatically. Right, this, That's look. the one I saw. What is that? Is that yeah? Come on, come come on up if you like. Let's welcome her to the stage. <laughs> what's your what's your name, young lady? Uh, Jen Brown. Jen Brown. All right. Jen Brown. Her Talk name rhymes with, with, with Harmatone. Uh, so, did you listen to the last podcast when we were in Phoenix? I missed the last one. Okay, well, we came up with this refrain. Yeah, just, the, it was released like a couple hours ago, I think. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you, do you want a seat, or do you, are you comfortable standing? It's a, okay. The, are you, Jen, are you a singer? Is that what you do? I, I'm not primarily, but I... Use the microphone, Jen, you're a singer. I'm not primarily, but... Is that, is that mic on? Um, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. Take All right. <laughs> Is that Zeppelin the Zeppelin guy? guy? Right. This guy's mercurial as shit. Yeah, Ze Zeppelin guy may have to come up Razor's too. Razor's edge. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, uh, all right, the refrain that we that we landed on at Phoenix was. Uh, you want to sing it for him? Yeah. We'll run, I'll run it to. Come on down to Harmon Town. Oh, wait, shit, Turn sorry. your frown upside down. Pee is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. Come on down to Harmontown. Uh, sorry, sorry. Turn upside down. Yeah. It's, it's, it's come on down to Harmontown. Turn that frown upside down. Pee is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmontown. All right. From the top. Come on down to Harmontown. Turn that frown upside down. Pee is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmontown. Yo, Texas, I hope I don't wreck this. I'm trying to freestyle, coming off Phoenix, I feel frantic. I want to freestyle for you. I want to rap for you, not do it like do do. I want to, I see feel it coming inside. <laughs> I feel terrible, I'm doing a terrible job. I, I'm always terrible at rapping, it doesn't matter because we got this hook and that's the pancake batter. Come on down and hop and tell. Turn that frown upside down. Weakness to my knees, struggling like a hero, staring at the trees, calling to the sky. Austin, please give me strength to rap, please. I'm a terrible rapper, don't know what to do. All I can ever do is talk about my poo. All I want to do is ha hang out with everybody, but I can't do it because I, I feel like a piece of shit. Come on down, turn that crown upside down. It's yellow, poop and brown. It's yellow. Come on down to Harmon Town with Jim Brown. With Jim Brown. Jim Brown in Harmon Town. Jim Brown. Jim Brown. Let me see you work that ass around. I said, let me see you work that little ass around. Yeah. Zeppelin was arguing with you. He started to jeer at you and hiss and started to boo. But then you said Robert Plant was a dick. And then you guys hugged and kind of made me sick with jealousy. I'm your friend. I don't want this to be the end. Yo, man, I'll stick to you. I'll stick with you through any kind of weather. You know, it was today at an IHOP. We both took a shit together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't frown and hop in town. Never frown when you hear my little diamond poopies popping down. Plip, plop, plip, plop, gutter. Yo, plip, plop, plip, plop, 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 we should do it again. Come on, we'll do it. Down right. to Harm and Town. Right, well, let's, let's, we'll let's, let's get the shot where everyone's slow mo. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. so pretend you're in slow mo right now. So, get for the camera. Where's the camera? You're going to reach for me like you want to touch me. Yeah. 
I can't believe you wish you could. Yeah, but, but, but guys, it's, 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 it's totally organic. Shot. It's totally organic. Yeah, it's totally natural what's going on here. Pretend what's happening is not really weird. Turn that frown upside down. Every city I go to, it's the same. All the faces and names blend together in flame. Oh, 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 the weariness of the road. Oh, it's so hard to be adored. Oh, how will I sustain it? What drug can take care of this? Oh, these people making me drown in my ego piss. They want to love me and I don't care them enough. But I want to do shit like snuff. I love, I guess. I'm a bad rapper. We made friends in the crapper. Yeah. I used a toilet tapper. That's a tip. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Damn, damn. Don't panic. All right, right. Just keep it cool. Keep it cool. Yeah, yeah. You're in a place where friends come together. All right. Yeah. 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 Everybody cool. Keep it cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Spencer. What? That was MC Spencer, everybody. Yeah. All right. Well, let's have a hand for. That worked out very well. Ted Brown. All right. Well, let's 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 play Dungeons and Dragons. Let's right? do this. All right. We're gonna need Aaron to come up here then. I'm gonna hey. bring Aaron McGaffey to the stage. Aaron McGaffey. Oh shit! Wait. You know what? You know what Jen gets? It's Jen Brown, right? Jen Brown. She oh. get, she gets a fucking oh, yeah. li limited edition. Uh, Dan Harmon's uh, water book. damaged. Uh, we have two books left. All, all the books were sold. So now you get one. There's there's two water damaged Dan Harmon's. It'll be perfect when you're dead. Like Specially dropped in the bathtub for you. Twice as wide as a normal book. That, that was a little bit better. Little Thank better. you, Jen. That was kind of screwed. No, you want you want do you want the more chewed up one? I'm all right. Jen Brown, everyone. <laughs> And Aaron McGaffey takes the stage. Dan's girlfriend. Really, really quick, can I premiere my new character, Sensitive T-shirt gun? Yes, yes, Sensitive T-shirt gun. Sensitive T-shirt gun. All right. Hey, everybody, who doesn't have enough money to buy a T-shirt? Who doesn't have a lot of money? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, stage left audience. Sorry, sorry. I, I said premiere. That was the first time. Next time I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have a stronger arm. Aaron, you're 12 years younger than me. I'm not hip to the scene. What? Was that, was that Jen, Jen Brown girl? Was she a manic pixie? Uh, whatever you call it. Uh, was that a short hair and the glasses? Was she? Uh, we just we just did a two episode arc on my podcast about the manic pixie girl. Um, That's what I'm asking you. I, I was in the back grabbing uh, oh, grabbing t-shirts. No, I saw her. Um, I, I I don't think I, I don't I don't think it's. I don't know what any looks. I don't know what any of these phrases I mean. She she would definitely in a she would be booked. I think in a movie she would be cast as a manic pixie girl. She's very cute. Looks very smart and creative. Sorry, she kicks your ass. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Very uh, pretty and adorable and creative, so she, she may be cast as that. I get, I get confused, okay, so the things I get confused about, manic pixie chick, confederate flags, second <laughs> amendment, and the word hipster. Somebody coughed the word hipster when we were talking before. You were, you were talking about music or something, someone went, oh, hipster! Uh, yeah. I never know what that means. I think I, hipster I, means poser. Hi hipster means like. I think if, as I, I, we're, we're from LA and there's, you know, there's Silver Lake, which is like the, uh, what, what's the, uh, the area in Brooklyn that uh, all the hipsters live? Williamsburg. Williamsburg. It's like the Williamsburg of LA. It's just a lot of dudes, and with the, like, with a, it's 90 degrees out, but they still have a beard and a scarf and a, and a beret and like a. <laughs> they all, yeah. It's about affectation. It's about yeah. somebody who puts too much yeah. attention into how they look. I have a personality! <laughs> I swear! Ask me about it. My name is Sunday with three Y's. <laughs> Because it's really Dave. Uh, Look, that's a good friend of ours, and he's gonna finish that screenplay. <laughs> uh, all right, Spencer, do you want to recap what, what, where, where we were? I gotta at? give you these first, probably. All right, Spencer is dispensing. That one's Dan's. That one's the character Dan's. sheets. 
Last night in the tour bus, after playing a uh, playing D and D now for months with Spencer, I've never actually looked at my character sheet, and I got a tutorial from Spencer, and he explained all of this, all the information, and I was very excited about it. Yeah, this. yeah. Take it away, Spencer. When we last met, our heroes had just been looking skyward at Admiral Darkstar's Black Armada. Pouring through the rift, the ships launched out legions of black metallic cyl cylinders before sailing westward. Realizing his camp may be in danger, Mango and his barbarians teleported swiftly away to warn the others. Left in the middle of a few of the mysterious cylinders, the party inspected them for a bit before they began making strange <laughs> noise and hovering with menace. Not sure how to proceed, the heroes cast, shot, threw, and urinated their way to victory. <laughs> As they stood among the battered constructs, they hoped that Butt's camp would be safe. Uh, by the way, somebody tweeted that, like, I don't understand when you guys get in these fights, like, what are the stakes? Uh, uh, how do I know, like, if you get six damage, what does that mean? I, I, and then I was like, yeah, you're right, good point. You should know. I have 24 hit points. I have 40 hit points. But right now, you have, like, 30 less than that, Jeff, and you have 10 less because you just got out of a fight last time. Well, why didn't you write it down on my character sheet, Spencer? Because that's your job. But after, after every show, you come up and take my character sheet away from me and put it in a little trapper keeper, and I never get to see it again. That's true. We don't, we don't have pencils and erasers. You need an That's assistant. That's not my fault. All right. we, we, we need to get him a Spencer, team. this is day two. Why are we fighting? We have a whole tour. <laughs> Just calm day. down, everybody. All right. So I, I don't have 40. I have what? 10? Right now, you're at 11. So how, how do you get your hit points back? Just rest and... Uh, well, last time we met, you actually put on a healing pendant and in anticipation my, of healing. My healing pendant was booting up, you said. It's starting to, yeah. You can feel the rejuvenating forces flowing through you. Your hit points trick, trickle upwards. To, to... To how many? You don't know. I'll tell you in the future. Okay. It's still going. All right. Looking around you, you realize that you're actually in the remains of some long-destroyed village. Only the foundations and the charred skeletal wooden frames of several buildings remain. You can tell that some time has passed between the raising of this town and now, because several green grass shoots and delicate tendrils of stems have begun overtaking the ashy, black structures. You wonder what wrought this devastation and why. Mulrain seems tense, worried, and has a faraway look in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. she, she's a he. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Uh, she's a dude. Uh, what's, what's wrong, Mulrain? You seem tense. With a faraway look in your eyes. I, uh, gentlemen, comrades, I, I'm going to uh, fashion some more arrows. On the other side of the village, I know that you'll remain here. I'll be back in uh, ten shakes of a swallow's birthday. <laughs> that seems weird. Yeah. He departs quickly. She seems evasive. Uh, he. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was like, got it. I look like a girl. I, uh, uh, by the way, merch is available after the show. T shirts, everything. We'll sign it. We'll, uh, I'll sign everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the sound of Maureen leaving. <laughs> the two of you remain. I, 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 I detect magic uh, uh, around here. You detect the faint straight uh, traces of dangerous evocation magic, the most deadly and destructive force. Uh-oh. <laughs> so there's, there's, there's dangerous magic just lurking around the skeletal tendrils? I'd say there's the echoes of maybe the remains of past cast magic. Mm -hmm. All right, well, well, well we, should, we should head to my dad's camp. Yeah, because he, he, uh, is, is, uh, he's going there to make sure that his camp is safe. We should come to his rescue. I know you and your dad have a troubled past. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a barbarian, he's a barbarian. You're part barbarian, more or less, aren't you? I mean, sure. uh, I mean genetically. Uh, kind of, right? Yeah. Uh, wh wh which, uh, which way did they go? You don't know, they teleported. Oh, right, they teleported. Mm. But we were there. Mm -hmm. Right. So okay, so we, we You also probably don't want to leave me. <laughs> no, we'll get you. You're what are you doing? <laughs> She's carving <laughs> arrows. <laughs> I don't. I Do don't stuff now. Uh, uh, we, 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 we take off uh, back to the, uh, the Butzelot encampment. 
All right, you two set off, but not before. Sharpie trips over his own two feet and falls flat on his face. As you pick yourself up, you realize you didn't trip over your own two feet, but instead, a large, tattered tome. A tome? A, a tattered tome. tome? That's a book. Yeah, I know it's a book. <laughs> I'm, I'm helping everyone out. Just help. you, wh wh what do you think I was doing in 89? Getting laid? <laughs> I know what a tome is. Pick it up. I pick it up. You pick it up. I look at it. You look at it. It says journal. <laughs> uh -oh. The edges are burnt and blackened. The cover is worn. It's, it. it seems strange that it survived this, mad, this intense fire. Hmm. Is it magical? Uh, you detected magic, and you didn't detect magic coming from it. But I open it. That's you not very polite. Somebody's journal, man. <laughs> the first entry reads, Dead. All dead. My children. Gone. Five bright souls snuffed out in an instant. No mother should be forced to endure such horror, let alone be forced to watch. Their screams, their heart-shattering screams, the crackling flames, the smell of burning flesh. I died five times that night, and yet I'm still here. Even this place is gone. We had a 16-hour bus ride from Phoenix, you guys. That's awesome. I, I can't. The journal entry ends there. Spencer, everybody, that's first good stuff. Holy shit. Do I leave? Is it, is it, was it signed? No, no, you're staying. It, 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 was it signed? Is there a name? There is no name. Hmm. <laughs> well, I, I think we should keep this and restore it to whoever. Yeah, it's, a, it's a huge clue in the mystery of whether or not a bunch of people died here. The, <laughs> the book I think I solved have, the case. It may have multiple pages. Oh, Wait, oh, oh, I turned the page. Jesus. If only I were stronger. If only I were male. If only I were male. The entry ends. It's a woman. Okay, I turn every page. You read the whole thing. Strong move. I found a way to carry on. I couldn't protect them because I was weak. I am weak. Curse this female form. Curse my cowardice. My inaccuracy. But that's over. All of it. I found an artifact. They say it's cursed, but I don't know why. Who wouldn't want this power? The entry ends. I'm assuming you're flipping through. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. next entry. The last entry. <laughs> it worked. I can feel my old self drifting away. My memories seem fainter, weaker. The belt were just fine. Now no one can trace me back to my roots, my past. I thought I should change my name to something more masculine. To honor their spirits, I came up with Mulrain. Oh. Mul, from the elvish word for one who survived great calamity. Rain, God's mercy, for the rain that should have come to save my children. My dear children. Make that noise again. The, the, yeah, the coming back noise. Uh, uh, hello, gentlemen. Uh, you're reading? Oh, yeah. I just, yeah, uh, yeah, we, we found your book. <laughs> <laughs> that survived the fire somehow. That was for no one's eyes but the forests. <laughs> <laughs> so, w were you a... Wait, were you a, a dude or were you a... Always, always been a woman, but took on a male name because she cursed her femininity because it didn't save her five... I had a belt that turned me into a man. I am currently a man. I was a woman who watched my children die in a fire. So a belt made you a dude? It was like a strap-on? You're going to question that. <laughs> Yes, I did, proudly. Uh, no, it, it was not a strap-on. Uh, it was a, and I don't know what that is. It was, it was, a, it was a magic... A strap-on is a belt that has a dick on it. <laughs> makes, makes women feel like dudes. I think that's cool. If you're, if you're into that, you know, what happens in the forest, Uh, 
happened, Court? Huh? Where has it happened? I'm sure you're describing this because you're very familiar. I'm with just trying to get to the point. I, I think it's great that you're a lady that likes to strap on a dick and fucking feel macho. I think that's what it's, 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 it's nothing to be ashamed of. My children died in a fire! Maybe if you hadn't been busy fucking asses and stuff. You could have been a better mother. You're I fucking pulled, acting as it was. I pulled Sharpie aside for an aside. <laughs> that happens. I, 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 I play my lute in the background. Hey, you play decently. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about my friend. It's fine. I just I wish he was more honest with himself <laughs> about what he would like. I. Uh, yes, my my. Uh, just to clarify, you read my journal entry. I, I'm embarrassed that it was left behind, I, but. This was your home? Yes, we're standing on the ashes of my There's children. There's a lady who's sure that she's buying a playing my loop. Do you know what happened? What? Do you know what happened here? I know that there was a there was a dark night. Uh, I had just turned off the candles. I had said good night to Toby <laughs> and the event. How, how do you how do you turn a candle off? I'm having an aside. <laughs> you blow it out. You blow it out. Okay. You sorry. Blow it out. And she's by I'm sorry, I'm sorry my friend is, uh, we, he and I take shits together. <laughs> That's not all they take together. <laughs> it's getting spicy. <laughs> uh, I said goodnight to all of my children. I fell asleep. I awoke. To what were the you were gonna name your children in order? Yes. All five of them. Uh, Toby. Yeah. Melissa Finch. Okay. Sugar. Yeah. Danielle. Oh. And Robert. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and Robert. <laughs> I, I I turned off the candles and I, I felt a great heat. I say turned off because I'm very casual with candles, so they don't know switch it. I felt a, a strong heat, and I, I, I woke up to see my children. All, all of their heads were on fire. Their hair was on fire. You should have turned them off. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. So proud of himself. I, 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 tur I, I tried to turn them off. I, I, I tried so hard to turn them off, Jesus. but they stayed on. And they stayed on all the, all the way down. Oh, and I, I tried to turn myself on. I tried to set myself on fire, oh, but then I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't light. I wouldn't light. Perhaps there's some magic there. <laughs> like, so Game, I, like the lady in Game of Thrones, like you can't be on fire. Yes, yes, precisely. I'm I may be part dragon, but I, I I would not set on fire, and I I left the house, and I I knew that I w would be a terrible mother to another child, and I I knew that a, an arrow would kill whatever was there, so I. Yes, what? Exactly. <laughs> yes. What? Uh, uh, well, uh, as, as, as you know, most enemies can be defeated by arrows, so I took up the, uh, the sport of arrowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the health of half elf word for it. And I, I, and I joined you. So you don't know what did this to your peoples? Uh... I, I, do, I, I don't. Okay. I, I, 
I saw you two traveling and I hoped that I could latch on to you and maybe you would help me. Also, I've fallen in love with you during this. <laughs> and I, you. I am so sorry about my gay friend. I love him too. Deeply. I want a whole lot of love, you know. I want a whole lot of love, you know. And he loves Led Zeppelin. Join him. Please don't tell him what I said about falling in love with you. I, I would like to find a belt because I do still possess a sword between my legs and I'd like to revert to my previous self. Gee. Adventure! <laughs> hey, I'm sorry guys, I was bored uh, playing my leg. Uh, uh, Sharpie, explain to me really quickly what just happened. Quark, we, 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 uh, really, honestly, nothing has changed. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what we Took a long time. Do. I was sitting over there playing my lute for a while. Well, I think you should be less mean to, uh, uh, Mulbrain. Okay. All right. You know, she's a sensitive person. Okay. Uh, and, uh, this was her home. And yeah. her children burnt to death. Yeah, and I was, I, I feel pretty bad about that. Came down pretty hard on so turning candles off and shit. I'm a little, I'm a little overwhelmed. But like, I I want to avenge the death of your children, and I want my dad to be safe. I I I I. I, I feel like the, the the force that destroyed my children is the same that is after your dad. It's a good chance, right? Probably by movie logic. Yeah. Like, so the same area. You don't see a lot of movies where it's like, oh, an octopus did this, but there's also a werewolf. <laughs> so, as cool as that would be. Uh, it's probably Admiral Darkstar, I guess, right? It's probably Spider-Man 3. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Lot of, lot of, lot of SM3 Jim, Jimmy Parker in the audience. All right. Uh, well, we, I, I think we should proceed toward, uh, toward where, the Bustle encampment. Yeah, where my dad. That's we, what we, I said a long time ago. You guys, from where, right, Spencer? We know how to head there. Oh yeah, there. totally. Yeah. Well, we do that and end this segment. <laughs> it's over. All right. <laughs> Spencer, everybody. Dungeons and Dragons. How you like that, Austin? I think that shit was advanced! Uh, Aaron Spencer, McGaffey is Mulray. Spencer and I will be selling merch in the thing. Yeah. And really quick, uh, this city is the best city in the world. I have to agree. I have to agree. Let's look at some queso after this. I would call it the Paris of Texas, but there's some dipshit like Paris of Texas, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it really is the Paris of Texas. It's the San Francisco of the not, the, of not Californias. I don't know. I don't know. California and Texas, we should, we should get along. We should form an alliance. Imagine if, imagine if we stood up to the whole country and said, let us smoke weed and... Uh, don't mess with California either. Right. We'll find we'll find a happy medium on toast size. Yeah. <laughs> because really, it's still it doesn't need to be. That's you know that's got to be all it. your Maybe oil. We'll, we'll make a Nevada toast. All your oil. Like all your microchips. Size. All of your movies. All of your television. Like we could we could we could take you know who needs the rest of the who needs these fuckers that that we're going to next. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably find a, a way to love them when we when we hit Nashville. Uh, but uh, uh, you guys have been amazing. Should we? What do we? What do we do? Like, are, are we? Are we we're, we're ready to find a conclusion. You know, you know, you know we could try. And this is uh, you might not like it, but uh, we have some music here created by Ryan Elder, who's our musical director. And uh, there's a country song. You you think maybe you could uh, take what you've gleaned from uh, from this audience tonight? Because <laughs> you guys gave us a pretty easy ride. Uh, you, you were working pretty hard last night in, in Phoenix, but this was a. Uh, this was like being a, a nice, comfy hammock. Uh, so, and it's, it's not like... It's just not to say that the people in Phoenix made me work harder. I, I learned... You, you made yourself work I harder. I cut my teeth in Phoenix. Yeah. I, I punished myself. But it's not like you've gone through a big, like, like heroic journey tonight where you found out, like, like you had to you know, rise from ashes 
like a phoenix, and then come back up and, uh, and learn something. It was, it was just nice and easy and fun all the way through. It's, 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 you know, it doesn't make for a great heroic tale, you know. Maybe, a, is there, how about this? Maybe sing like a kind of maybe a little sad song or something like that, maybe country style, about, uh, about, you know, about having to leave this, this, this beautiful town. We can try it. All right. Let's, let's give it a whirl. All right. If not, we bring uh, Jen Brown up and we sing the pee pee poo poo piece yeah. out. What did you say? Uh, yeah. Who knows what? We'll, yeah. just, we'll just dive yeah. into the audience and then run yeah. for the back door. Yeah, Jen. Jen, stay loose. Here we go. <laughs> the shuffleboard shuffle. Texas, but I left my foot in Maine. <laughs> I left my hand in Idaho, and it was never quite the same. Different parts of my body have been left in different states. It all depends on where I was and what I chose to eat. I had pancakes yesterday and took a poop with Jeff. I'm up here breath. Two, three, four, hokey pokey in the back room and a hickey picky on the high ho and a hokey picky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hokey pokey. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> I think that, that's, that's traditional, right? That was... <laughs> I, yeah, I think that was uh, hokey pokey on the ding dong. Yeah, the, yeah, that, that, was, that was an earnest tub <laughs> shit going on there. That was like... I think I'm welcome back here any time. <laughs> uh, 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 Dan is going to be at the Broken Spoke on Thursday. <laughs> uh, you guys have been unreasonably fantastic. Uh, I don't know what else we can possibly I say we bring Jim, Bra uh, Jim Brown back up and we sing uh, you maybe a couple, a, couple bit, a, little, right. a little bit of rap and we finish. Fuck some mamas! Fuck some mamas, has a man right, in right, front. Right, What's your name, sir? Ma Mars? Holy shit. <laughs> right, right. I, do you, you want to fuck the God of War's mother right now? Yeah, yeah. You have a picture of your mother? T take the picture of your mother out, and Dan's gonna cut a hole in it and fuck it. <laughs> he actually not, he's seriously a man. Where is he going? A, a man uh, dressed like the world's sexiest valet Parker. Has <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, requested that Dan not only sing a, a rap about fucking his mother. He's searching through his, <laughs> his satchel <laughs> for a photo of his mother. This is the weirdest fetish I've ever come across. Fuck my mother! Oh, oh yeah, fuck my mother! Literally! Literally, she's home. We the door's gonna, open. We're gonna introduce him to Deluxe in Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you find it? No. You didn't bring it? I, I, yeah, find that photo, man. Wait, did you bring a photo of your mother so that Dan would fuck it? Or that you, you, you just carry a photo of your Mar beloved mother that you Mar like to have strangers in, fuck? In lieu of your mom's photo, do you think you could, could you help me out up here? Do you wanna, do you wanna, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get Mars up on stage. We gotta, we gotta close the show. It's don't, don't pressure out. Don't be like me. But we also need, we need, we need. Yeah, Jen, to, Jen, get up here for the hook. We need her to do the refrain. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We remember the refrain. How it goes. Yeah. Yo. Yo. So, so now we're rapping, man. Yeah. Yo. It's been. A, yeah, no, no, I'm sorry too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry too. I like that she brought her Shibli up here, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yo. Yeah. It's been a good night. I'm flowing rap. I, I hope I don't do it mouse trap. I'm just rhyming words about got shit flying out my mouth like projectile turds. I'm gonna throw it out to outer space. I hope everyone in Austin likes me regardless of my race. <laughs> Because I'm white, I, I don't want to do anything bad tonight. We've had such a good time with these folks, but every egg has a white and a little yolk. I, I don't know what I mean. I'm not fucking you peen. I'm sucking a teen to bean. Just let me wrap some more. Coming around to another door. Gonna open it wide. Come on gonna go down to Hollywood Town. Oh, Turn that frown upside down. Yeah, yeah, Mars, take it, Mars, Mars. Yeah, yeah Mars. Right. Yeah, you got a bore. Yeah. Yo, you parked my car outside earlier. Yeah. 
Let's go have a drink together and uh, yeah. let's all go to the bar and get drunk. <laughs> 